October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik into space, the first man-made satellite capable of orbiting around Earth. This would mark the beginning of the space race between the U.S. and the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union will continue to lead in space with many accomplishments, including the first human space flight on April 12, 1961. They also put the first woman civilian astronaut into space and completed a five-day space flight, both in June of 1963. The Soviet Union was successful with the first multi-crew space flight on October 12, 1964, and were the first to walk in space on March 18, 1965. The United States needed more resources to compete with the Soviets, and on May 21, 1961, President Kennedy would address Congress in Washington, D.C., and take the leadership role needed to challenge our scientific and engineering community. This, a seemingly impossible task of sending a man to the moon and safely returning him home. President Kennedy not only felt strongly that the United States could fulfill this challenge, but could also complete it within a decade. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space. This new space program would eventually evolve into an agency called NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. This new agency would set a path to complete the president's goal and created two major aerospace programs named Gemini and Apollo. There will be many setbacks and disasters before they could be ready to safely send three men to the moon and back. This including the loss of three astronauts in the Apollo 1 program on January 27, 1967. Apollo astronauts Roger Chaffee, Edward White, and Gus Grissom lose their lives in a tragic flash fire aboard their grounded space capsule. The tragedy occurred during a simulated countdown for the first flight of the Apollo program whose goal is to put a man on the moon by 1970. With three goals in today's Gemini flight, a good launch in orbit, a successful walk in space, and satisfactory rendezvous... The Gemini program would develop a rocket capable of getting a man into orbit and allow the agency to learn precise spacecraft maneuvers in space. NASA will go on to develop the three-stage Saturn V rocket, the first stage had five engines capable of seven and a half million pounds of thrust and powerful enough to lift the 6.2 million pound rocket off the launch pad and start it on the way to the moon. This new rocket would be an engineering marvel and on December 21st, 1968, the United States would finally take the space race lead with the Apollo 8 flight and successfully send three men to the moon and back. Then on July 20th, 1969, the United States would impress the world and successfully send Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Edwin Buzz Aldrin to the moon. Michael Collins would stay in orbit around the moon in the space capsule Columbia, while Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin flew the lunar module Eagle to the surface of the moon for a controlled landing. With the world watching through television, Neil Armstrong climbed down the lunar module steps and would become the first man to step on the moon.